good afternoon or rather good evening everyone i'm dr vipul bhageria i am md pediatrics i am a pediatrician working in jaipur from the past 7 years i have a vaccination center in the name of wheel of caring at shamnagar and i am a consultant at balaji hospital sirsi road jaipur so today we'll discuss like on this occasion of the world digestive health day 2023 we would like to pass on some pearls of knowledge about one of the most important systems of our body the gi tract which is commonly known as the digestive tract or as the new generation calls it the gut in this line of like in this uh, in line with this theme we like the digestive health a healthy gut from the start let us talk about the importance of maintaining a healthy gut from early life uh, we need to know that the world's 40% population suffers from problems of digestive health of like their infants and toddlers are most affected among the population the gut health has become a hot topic in recent and recent years and now the gut is recognized as the second brain and as it is rightly called the second brain because there are trillions of bacteria which live, live inside our gut these bacteria play a key role in child's like all, not only the physical health but also the child's mental health and it reduces the risk of illness and disease as one of the greatest philosopher hippocrates said all disease begins in the gut this is true because 70% of the body's immune system lies in the gut some of the most commonest problems of the gut includes constipation hyperacidity diarrhea in which constipation affects almost 30% of the babies hyperacidity affects almost 25% of the infants one of the commonest causes of abdomen pain in children is constipation and this is most commonly ignored and overlooked in indian scenarios most of the common symptoms of these conditions and a poor functioning gut include uncomfortable indigestion indigestion stomach ache poor absorption poor immunity sleep mood disturbances general tiredness and the baby keeps on complaining ki acha nahi lag raha hai and it's like he is not able to eat properly and to maintain good energy levels all these have an impact on the health of the baby and the overall well-being of the child okay so there are many different ways to boost the gut health and prevent a child from suffering from constipation hyperacidity and diarrhea this starts from like from the beginning as breastfeeding the baby that is the best thing to do we need to include more fiber in the baby's diet we need to cut down on fatty foods we need to opt for probiotics that always helps in building a good good gut bacteria we need to give our child small and frequent meals we need to ensure that there is adequate water intake and encourage our child to go out and play we need to provide a safe exposure to outside world and encourage regular activity we need to avoid unnecessary use of antibiotics and these as these can cause serious problems to your child's gut finally if like there is any kind of symptoms you need to contact your pediatrician on observing any symptoms of digestive problems at the end i would like to ask all the parents that let us pledge to invest invest in a child's gut health and improve their overall health for the short term as well as long term gain and long term health of our children thank you so much